That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Norris Outdoors. So I'm sitting here on my steps, waiting for the other two guys to pick me up. We're headed out for another salmon trip. Um, you guys enjoyed the our last salmon trip, so we're going back out, trying to catch some kings again. Uh, but we'll be targeting mixed bag, probably lake trout, um, hopefully some coho, and maybe even a rainbow if we get into that. So I'm here, I just pretty much have a pillow, and a rod, and then a bucket full of stuff. That's all I need for the weekend, so just waiting for the guys to come pick me up. Stay tuned, it'll be a fun one. So you know, some people may ask what you need for a big salmon trip. Pretty much all you need is a hat, a bag of cuties, some filming equipment, fillet knives, and most importantly, a bag of Tapatio hot fries. Not sponsored, wish we were. These things are awesome. They'll keep you going out in the water. We have to do at the boat. Okay. One, pump up this tire. Brilliant. <laughs> Two, <laughs> hook up the boat. Okay, that's it. What about that's it. What about uncover the boat? Nope. You already uncovered it? No. No way you already uncovered the boat. No way I uncovered the boat. Wow. So there's three things to do. Well, Are we... Do you want to count unplug the boat from the power? Yeah, that's like four things. But... Are the bungee cords still hooked up? The what? The, the tarp. Or wait, did we already establish that it was uncovered? I have no. I haven't figured it out. Okay. <laughs> the boat is currently covered. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, there's like 10 things to do. Yeah. You count each one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll buy them for it. Alright, I'll fuck with the tire. Wow, we put a lot in. What are we at? 37. Okay. That's pretty good, right? What do you want to be? 30, 35? Well, that was 37.7. That's mm. good. This is our brilliant downrigger. You're going to see this thing in action, but I think you're really going to like it. And then grab the green bag. Green bag. Oh, here it is. What's in the green bag? This is top secret downrigger weight. Hand poured. Cement block. Wow, the cement block. Here I go. Boom! Oh, that's a downrigger. All right, crank it up. Yo, lake trout. Here we come. <laughs> All right, guys. Little major key for you when you're on the road. These quick trip reduced price donuts, I get them every time. Reduced price? Yeah, these are half price. These are normally $3, and $1.50 for Dale. <laughs> well, they're reduced. What else we got? Right? <laughs> oh, we got some. Oh, wow, I got some fun. Got sour cream and onion, uh, old Dutch. That sounds good. And more discount donuts. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> good morning, everyone. So it's 3.22 a.m. Departure time's at 3.30. RJ's up, Gus is up, I'm up. Departure time, eight minutes. We'll see you on the water in about 25 minutes. It's 5.05, we're finally all set up. We uh, missed our first fish, so 
Let's see if we can get back on them. Well, guys, we're officially down bad. I think we're in like 215 feet of water. You still see some charter boats out there. Uh, I'm not turning around. So I'm like in this wave direction, so keep rolling deep. We'll see you guys at the uh, state sanctioned offshore lake trout release area. Sanctioned offshore lake trout release area is cracked. What is it? It's just like lake trout catch and release only? Yeah, it's a giant reef that's like 25 miles offshore. And it comes up to how shallow? Probably like 250. Like comes up from 300? From 500. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh that's sweet! Yeah. I feel like power bait fish are just trying to sit in some shallow warm water. <laughs> Try and chill. I feel like please king don't come and eat me. <laughs> or just getting one of those massive bait balls and just always be in the middle. Uh oh. Have you seen like how uh, schools of baby snakehead will format themselves to look like an adult snakehead? So they just like go in one? Yeah, but like it like they have like a tail, like Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh wow, that's sweet. Alright guys, we'll get you a good look at this fish. Just reeling this coho on a dodger fly. There we go guys, first fish of the morning. Really pretty coho, decent size to him. Get him unhooked and put him in the live well. Got that little fly popped out. You can see the colors there. Like an aqua frog type. Let's get this guy one last look at him. Decent sized coho. And we'll put him in the live well. All right guys, hooked onto a big shark here. I lost half my rod. <laughs> it's quite the battle. I got 80 pound test on. Let's actually look into it as well and tell me. It's the best fight I've had all day. <laughs> I don't say it's the only fight he's had all day. <laughs> <laughs> they doubled up over there. They're gonna be like, man, that guy's rod is really short. <laughs> 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 it's the only short rod I've ever had. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's really helping me out here. <laughs> this is me run mono on the, the SSS blue boat. Yeah. Head shaking a bit. All right, so let's see what that shark was. Oh, it's big. Looks like a four pounder. Oh, there it is. That was good. So what is that, RJ? Oh, that's the old concrete block, baby. Works <laughs> like a charm. Get this down to uh, 272 feet. All right, guys, if you haven't used this bait before, this is the greatest bait of all time. Cowbell with spinning glow. This is guaranteed lake trout demolition. <laughs> We're gonna have limits here in 10, 20 minutes. Let's put this down. Bring right. up the top of that. Let me see what that's all about. The, the spinny and the glowy part. RJ, give that a little twirl for the folks at home. All right, guys, here's the spin and glow. It's actually just a spin, it doesn't glow, so we got the bring your own glow here with these two glow beads. <laughs> and then we hand tied this fly right here that uh, I guess we also have that. <laughs> spin and glow. Get it down there. Oh my God, he's on! He's on! The spin and glow! And then brilliant owl thought, you know what? That looks like a pop. That looks like a fish on that eye. On this one? Yeah. I'm not, but everything's going on. Everything. Blaker! Woo! Woo! Yes! <laughs> 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 Guys, this is my dream come true. Laker on the spinning globe. That thing is going right back out there for more spinning globe. Brilliant. Do you want to? I'm good. I'm pretty sure you're on. I'm pretty sure I'm on. Wow. Well, it doesn't hurt to well, I need. Well, we needed to bring this in anyway. Yeah. So guys, I dropped this board back like 10,000 feet. And uh, we finally hooked up here. It's probably been about like an hour since our last bit from Laker. It doesn't feel bad. It's probably, uh, I'm hoping for like a three to four pound coho or a big deal. 
Homemade fly is killing it. It's the amino acids. It is the amino acids. Fuck. How long has it been, been out? 30 seconds. 3.2 seconds. Yeah. I mean, that. Purple spoon, instant demolition. That's you know, all it takes to look like. Big shout out to the Bass Pro. Yo. Uh, Depth Master. Depth Master. High quality reel. Hey, we're not sponsored. But we'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> Picked that up yesterday. It's, uh,. Definitely works. The whole line? Yeah. The wheel's in line? What more could you really ask for? Oh no. Oh, oh come on. Oh no. Uh oh. They just do that. Oh, no. This should not be happening. This knot has literally been tied for like six, seven fish. I just, I just felt. I'm like, and this is gone. Oh, All right, guys, what's going on, Gus? Fucked up with another one. Third time's the charm, right? Well, we're in utter shambles. I mean, look at what Arj is working this, on right now. This is horrible. This is like the most poorly executed day of fishing I've had on like. This year. But you know, we all have our days and definitely one of those days but it seems like we're actually picking up a few bites here so you know I think we'll be able to salvage this and maybe get catch a few more fish at least enough for dinner for us and a few more. I mean Gus is still on here so Gus is still on here so hopefully we can connect with this fish but we'll see Okay, this is exciting. Yeah, yep, got it. Finally got something in the boat, guys. All right, so we cut that on this uh, little flasher fly setup. Here's the flasher. There's the fly. 
right in the coho's mouth. So, uh, you know, it's a little coho, but at least we got him in the boat. Oh, this, there's a fish on this. Oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Something screwed up. Pull this dipsy. Do we think there's still a fish on this? I think it's already popped. One hundred thirty-five. You guys better not be gaslighting me again. I'll gaslight you until you find it. That's pretty. That's pretty bad. I'll reel every damn rod up if I have to. I literally am. I'm leaving a wreck in my wake. I mean, it feels like there's some weight here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a stud, RJ. Huge. This better be a lake trout. Looks kind of. Looks kind of coho like. <laughs> Wait, is that a? Yeah, coho. Wow, look at that, guys! Another one on the spinning glow. Downrigger splitting glow setup. Wow, look at this guy. That was good. So I know we showed you this before, but a bunch of those nice rigs. Good looking coho. There's the spinning glow. Wow, how do the hooks always find the that? Yeah. All right guys, so it got hot all of a sudden. Not just the temperature, but the fishing. So what changed RJ? Well, what changed when we fully committed to go fishing? We bumped up our speed from no like a, kings. Yeah, no the kings. Suck. The kings aren't here, so we bumped up our speed from like a two 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 four to like a two eight to two zero. Then what we also did was we raised up all our deep dipsies, put on smaller spoons, and moved from magnums to a small spoons, running a few moonshines. We picked up a nice light on a purple spoon. I think that was probably a steelhead. Purple and blue fly too. Yep, and the purple and blue fly has been getting hit as well. So. Basically, we committed to go fishing, raised everything up, started moving a little faster, started getting hit. So we're going to make a few passes again through that zone where we got a few bites. And uh, yeah, we're sitting on five fish right now. Hopefully, we'll make that 15. Stay tuned. Yeah, as you saw, we're a little, we were a little discombobulated, but oh we're back, God, ready to go. And like RJ just mentioned, we're going to hit that one spot one more time. And uh, stay tuned. It'll be fun. All right, RJ. What we got? All right, guys. We've got a balloon out here. It's going to be my uh, best. It's not looking good. Oh no. Oh no is right. I jump in and get it. Oh no. Oh no. Go back of the boat, RJ. Oh wow. Back what of the is boat, that? back of the boat. There's no shot at you. Come on, you can get it if you're an athlete. Oh. Get it! Oh. Damn, there's no shot. Right, there's no shot. <laughs> we tried guys. Don't worry, we'll have another pass at her. Go back for him. Don't worry guys, we got you two fish today, baby. Light work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yup, here we go. Oh, forgot about that. Got so excited. There's big, big coho. We're not losing this one though. Look at that, guys. Yup, two fish, baby. Light work. I think each of us have now reeled in a fish that we didn't think was actually on. Yeah, we were just pulling lines and uh, this guy happened to be on it. Wow, this hand tied fly is clear on that. All right, guys, we're gonna roll a little shallower. We'll catch you at the next spot. Back in the harbor. Long day out there, but it was fun. Uh, got some coho, lake trout. We still have some work to do at the fillet tables. Um, but if you enjoy these videos, let us know. We love filming them for you. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.